Okay, in this short video, I'm going to try to communicate how to convert a PDF quiz, like you would print out for your students, into a Camtasia online quiz. So right now I'm showing you where I get my quizzes from. They're from the SCME um, education website. So we find, uh, we log in and we find the file we want to download. So they're organized by categories. IGs are the instructor guides, so they have the answers. So you want to download the, the um, quiz that has the answers in it because you're going to need those when you convert and put it into Canvas so you know which is the right answer. So in this case, I'm showing you two different knowledge probes and final assessment quizzes um, that I've downloaded to my computer. So once you have the PDF, you can open it with Word. And the reason I do it this way, rather than using the Word doc itself, is that the Word docs have some very unique formatting built into them that we used early on in our project. And so the translation um, going into a pure text file is very difficult to do. So I found the easiest way is to import the PDF file. And now you see me cleaning up the PDF file. So there's certain parts that we don't want to translate into Canvas, and it won't translate well. So we delete all the junk, the headers, the first few paragraphs, titles, all of that stuff. What you want to do is end up with just a bare bones um, question and answer file. So here you're seeing the formatting as it came in from the PDF. It's very clean. You can see what the answers are. And we're going to have to manipulate that a little bit. So there's a specific format that you have to use to ultimately convert your text file into a canvas file. So you can see here the um, question has a number with a period and a space and then there's the question and then the multiple choice answers are A, B, C, D, E, etc. and those letters have to have a um, parenthesis, a right parenthesis on the side of it. Now what you're seeing me do here is I'm taking the answers um, that are printed for each question and just putting an asterisk in front of the answer that's correct and getting rid of the written answer. So um, I'm doing this as a placeholder so I know which answers are the correct ones as I go through it. And again you have to download the instructor guide version of the quiz because that has the answer in it. So um, I'm going through here and reformatting the answers so they're um, they're the right format. There's some good ways to do this in bulk as well. Um, I couldn't think of it um, while I was doing this. So you might find a better path. So what we had just done is we redid all of the um, questions and now we copied and pasted them as a text, as pure text, um, into another Word file and now we're going to do a save as text file. So you do a copy paste as uh, formatted text and then you do a save as um, a pure text file. You want special encoding and that's the UTF-8 so you'll see it there. Hopefully you can zoom in on this while you're watching it. Um, and then once you find the right format, the UTF-8 uh, format, you select that and you hit save or OK, whatever that is down there. And it'll save it in a text file. Now we're going to jump into the San Diego site and I'll leave you the link for that. This is developed by San Diego State to convert text files into Canvas files. Um, I guess they did a big conversion to Canvas, so they built this tool for their instructors. 
So you can see sometimes you have an error, so there's a formatting error in there. So you can go back to your text file and fix the formatting. So it's real critical here. You can see the text file. Um, you know, you've got to have the asterisk in front of the letter, not after it. And then you also need a space after the letter. If you leave the space out, you'll get an error. If you put the asterisk on the wrong side of the answer, letter uh, as I did it'll give you an error so I went back and I cleaned all of those little errors up and you see me doing that here to some extent and when you're all done you go ahead and save that file and then you just um, you know put it back into the conversion uh, form online at the San Diego State uh, website and you keep doing it till you get it to run without any errors and um, it's good to have error checking because it would drive you nuts if you had to go into canvas and try to figure out where it crashed so this is a really nice tool um, it beats having to rewrite all of the questions okay one of the questions won't translate using this system so we're going to hand enter that question at the end so here again we have another formatting error we go back, we fix it, okay, and then, you know, we do this a few times uh, till we clean out all the errors. And once you've done this once or twice, then you'll probably get it right the first time. So I just wanted to show you what is, this is like. Um, so once we're all said and done, we'll upload it one more time, and hopefully it'll run cleanly. Um, I'm probably dithering too much on fixing these little errors. But you'll see what I mean when we're all done. Okay, so you can just go backspace and then put it in there again. Hopefully this is the final one. Yes, you get a check mark. And it downloads it automatically to your download file. So there's a, there's a zip file that you're going to use when you bring it up into Canvas. Uh, all the other files it downloads, um, you're not going to, it's not going to help you. So it's a QTI zip file is what they call it. It's a special protocol for doing quizzes. It's probably quiz text, some kind of international file or something. So anyway, I'm going back into my Canvas site. Um, and then I'm going to pick the course that I want to bring in the new quiz I just made. And if you go to the home page, right, you can see this is the state I'm in with my current module. And you can go ahead and bring in um, a file. So you import your content and you got to pick the QTI file at the bottom there. And then you browse your computer, you find the QTI zip file, you click on the zip file, not on the other one, and you hit open. And then it brings it in once you click on go and um, it'll it does a conversion relatively quickly so you can see that it's converting it it's complete now we're going to jump back to quizzes and you should see it there and it labels it a generic quiz so you're going to have to change the title of the quiz as well um, but what i always do is since it brings it back brings it in in a, in, a, in a legacy format, I do a um, conversion. So you just saw me do that. And it can modifies it to the newer format. And then that way you can, um, you can use the build command and add questions to it. And um, it's a lot cleaner than using the legacy version of the the quiz so we do the conversion and then we update the conversion by putting in a a title you can change the point system and then you can also add other um, other questions that are not convertible so here are the multiple choice questions they look really nice okay we got to put in some instructions right so we're in the build system we click on the little update pencil we go back to the original PDF file 
and we copy and paste the instructions from that. Makes life easier, right? And if you notice any typos or anything in the instructions or something that doesn't sound right, feel free to clean it up at this point. Uh, the intent is that these um, quizzes match exactly the um, PDF versions of it so that the teachers can either print it out and have the students take the quiz or they can have them do it online. Most will do it online because it's self-correcting or self-grading. So here I've added a multiple choice or matching I should say, a matching version of the questions. There's the matching template and answer guide. So we go in and we copy and paste the different parts of the question in there and then we put in the answer you know in this case it's nucleic acids, proteins, or, or lipids. So we go through and we um, we add up all of those and um, I'll fast forward through this so you can see the result and then when you're all done um, you know, you update the instructions for the individual question. Okay, and then you're pretty much done at this point. So we saved it and we are now going to add it into the module. So you have to go in and add um, quiz to it and then the quiz always, anything you add always ends up at the bottom of the module so you have to drag it up to the point the place you want it. Okay, and usually when you're building these things from scratch, it goes from the top down, so people do it that way and it's easier to complete. So anyway, I just placed that quiz in the right spot. Now I clicked on it. It's working. It takes me to the um, edit mode because I'm logged in as a teacher. And I can check it all out, make sure it all looks right, correct anything I want to correct. Um, and then I can hit preview. And preview is really nice. It makes you make sure that the, the thing is working. Preview makes it look like what it will look like for the students. So we need to do this for every quiz. Click on all the buttons. Um, you know, try to pick the correct ones and then submit it and it'll automatically grade it for you and you can see from this that I did really bad um, I got a 33 percent but I wasn't reading the questions I was just randomly picking stuff so um, that's a pretty good pretty good track record well 33 percent most of these are one of three that you can pick from so anyway um, that's what you do and um, you know if you have any questions just feel free to ask me and I'll help you out but I thought this would be good to go through and refer back to and again I'll provide that link to the San Diego State website alright that's all I got